bit of good news this week as a taxpayer-funded naked sex show exploring issues of gender, sexuality and queerness for five-year-olds has been cancelled. Let's see what this sex show is all about in their own words. Hello, my name's Mike. I'm Artistic Director of Tobacco Factory Theatres. Uh, I use he and him pronouns. Um, I'm a white man with brown hair with grey bits in. Um, and I'm very excited that the family sex show is, is coming to Bristol. And Jimmy, I'm a white man with purple hair. Oh, 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 oh. My pronouns are now and then. Now and then. And I'm also very excited that the family sex show is coming to Bristol. Ooh. Hello, my name's Josie. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a white woman with dyed red hair, which is half up, half down today. Um, I'm wearing gold hoop earrings, which are not real because I do not have my ears pierced. I'm Jimmy. I'm a white man with purple hair. My pronouns are jewellery, jewellery. I'm wearing a cock ring to maintain blood flow to my phallus while I'm prancing about on stage. Hello. 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 Cup of tea. Hello. Jolly good show. Hello. Golly gosh, I need to attend the lavatory. Hello. My name is Ailey. I'm programming and engagement manager at Tobacco Factory Theatres. I am a white female with brown blonde hair and my pronouns are she, her. Family Sex Show is a fun and playful show for adults and children aged five and up. It offers an honest human sex education that is feminist, queer, non-binary, inclusive and sex positive. This show can allow audiences of all ages to feel confident about their bodies, their boundaries and their sexual health. I'm Jimmy. I'm a white man with purple hair. My pronouns are BBC and nonce. <laughs> can you fix it for me to have a role in your play, please? You might be thinking, what's wrong with this show? Sex education that's feminist and queer and non-binary for ages five and not up? Well, this isn't education, it's grooming. It's putting ideas in children's minds. No five-year-old is independently coming up with the idea that they're a pansexual, genderqueer furrican because they don't understand these concepts, because they're not gender studies graduates. They're five. Kids are getting these ideas in their heads because people are putting them in there and leftists have made it cool to be genderqueer or whatever instead of, you know, cis and straight and all those other things that are seen as bad nowadays. Look, when I was a kid, I desperately wanted to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle because I'd seen a TV show called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was super popular and it was everywhere and all the kids at school were talking about it. But looking back, there was some merit in me not being allowed to have a turtle shell irremovably grafted to my back. Anyway, maybe the FEQs are Around this show will put my mind at rest. Why is it for families and not for schools? There are a few difficulties with making the family sex show a school's performance. Yeah, I think schools are generally against naked sexualized performances in front of children for obvious reasons. Why so young? Five is young. Well, sexual development and behavior in children starts from birth. It's important that children are supported in their exploratory development safely and comfortably. You can see the common stages of sexual development laid out by the NSPCC here. Actually, the NSPCC says that it's very uncommon for younger children to discuss specific sexual acts, use explicit sexual language, or have adult-like sexual contact with other people, as reported in Stop It Now in 2007. In fact, it's a big red flag, and if you're worried about a child's sexual behaviour, you should act as soon as possible. Porn. We can't, and no one else can, no matter what locks you put in your devices, control how or when young people get access to porn. It's normally as fast as the fastest in the class. Man, this is bullshit. When the kids are at school, their phone gets locked away. When your kids are with you, you can totally lock down their phones. A five-year-old can't install a VPN. You are the Chinese Communist Party to your kids and porn is Tiananmen Square. And if porn is ubiquitous, I would generally prefer my kids to watch porn than watch porn and have some noncy failed drama student show them their dick and try to convince them that they're non-binary genderqueer on top of watching the porn. Will people get naked? There is nakedness, yes. At one point in the show, everyone on stage takes their clothes off to the level that they feel comfortable to. For some people, that's taking off all of their clothes and being completely naked. For other people, that means taking off bottoms but leaving underwear on. This moment lasts approximately five minutes. Yeah, but it feels like a week. They've got a link to resources too. Let's see what this is all about. Well, straight away, they've got massive candy-colored boners on there. Jesus Christ, you don't just hide this stuff a little bit. What else have they got? There's the gender unicorn. This is a graphic by Trans Student Educational Resources. Fantastic. I've got no idea what it's going on about. Vulva cupcakes? 
Here's the cast. They look exactly like you'd expect them to. I mean, I suppose it's refreshing to see leftists doing the noncing themselves instead of importing grooming gangs to do it for them. Of course, a naked sexual for five-year-olds gets a very nice write-up in the groomer's almanac, The Guardian. Criticising traditional sex education, they say, there was the purple silk tampon, the classic condom rolled onto a banana, and the general fear-mongering of pictures of STIs pinned up on a board, but never a mention of why you might want to have sex. Never anything about empathy or pleasure or how any of it might impact other people. Man, woke people are so conformist, they never imagined that people might be able to work this stuff out on their own. Ever since my hand could reach my dick, I worked out that yanking on it feels good. I didn't mean some state-funded nonce sticking his hands down his pants to show me. The argument against sex education for younger ages has repeatedly been that education is indoctrination. The more we tell our children about sex, the more tempted they will be. The more tempted a five-year-old will be? Are you mental? Man, fair enough if you're teaching teenagers, but leave five-year-olds out of it. Children aren't anxious about the idea of the show, she insists. It's the older people who feel discomfort in something that's challenging their preconceptions. Yeah, children aren't anxious because five-year-olds are innocent. Older people feel discomfort because they know and understand what's happening. It's this innocent and trusting authority figures that is exactly why we need to protect children. If children have questions, these can be answered by the parents. When kids are teenagers, fine, get educated at school. Five-year-olds genuinely don't need to know about felching. I mean, at least wait till they're six. Liberals seem to be insistent on breaking down the protective role of parents. There's a pattern of woke left teachers telling children they don't have to tell their parents. We've seen this in other reports where they say that the child can be whatever gender identity they want to be at school and the teachers will keep it a secret from, from the parents. And the SNP even tried to make this official legislation with a name person scheme which cut parents out of responsibility for their kids and handed it to a state apparatchik. Woke teachers say this is because parents can be transphobic or homophobic, but history has shown us that parents are almost always the best advocates for their children and can be trusted far more than some green-haired, septum-pierced, polyamorous BDSM disease bucket that's got a job in a school. And this idea that children can pick their own gender or pronouns or whatever is chipping away at the concept of the age of consent. If children can consent to transitioning, what else is the woke left saying that they can consent to? Getting nonced by some sweaty green hair is nonced their way into a classroom position? We don't let people get to twos till they're 16 but cutting their tits off? Stunning and brave. Look, just let kids be kids. They've got plenty of time for all this stuff when they hit puberty. It's not even education. They don't even tell the truth that pronouns are meaningless and all this she, they, them nonsense isn't about your identity. It's just a signal to show that you're in group and you're conformist to woke ideology. This identitarian pronoun stuff is just just because some people have too much time on their hands to overthink things and have a desperate desire to fill every second of their life with boring admin telling people who haven't asked every aspect of their identity. These are the sort of people who ask the teacher for more homework. Why is there so much focus on identifying people by their gender, sexuality, pronouns, etc.? Anyway, none of it means anything. Even Keir Starmer can't say what a woman is. So what does it mean to identify as one? We shouldn't be so focused on labelling people. Just let people be who they are. I'm not saying that the people behind the family sex show are nonces. I'm sure they've got perfectly noble intentions, but they're creating a mechanism that paedophiles can exploit. Let's face it, if there are any wrong and out there who want to get their cocks out in front of kids while the parents give them money like some sort of next level incestuous pedo financial dominatrix, all they need to do is apply for a role in the family sex show. And the worst thing is that it's taxpayer funded through the Arts Council. Why is taxpayers' money being wasted on these posh kid groomers when there are already hard-working community paedophiles willing to give up their time for free who already have their own vans, suites and boxes of puppies? And they're all posh. Hello. Look, if you want to prance like a tit instead of getting a real job, that's fine. But do it with your own money. Don't be taxing cleaners and bus drivers to pay for your pawnsery. At least Gary Glitter paid for his own plane ticket to Cambodia. He didn't get an Arts Council grant for it. If you'd like to support me making these videos, you can become a Patreon from as little as £3 a month, which is the price of a Tesco mail deal if you've got a club card. You can help me get my own Tesco mail deals and you get early access to these videos and Patreon-only content such as a podcast with a criminal barrister. Ooh, ooh, ooh.